I have dreamed about visiting Chamonix ever since I was a kid. It only took me 30 years to make this dream become a reality, and it didn't disappoint. When I was a kid, my dad showed me a ski movie called The Blizzard of Oz. The movie follows an eclectic group of skiers as they travel to Chamonix to ski some of the steepest and most challenging runs in the world. This movie left a huge impression on me, and ever since, I've dreamed about exploring this place for myself. After nearly 30 years, it finally became a reality. During the summer of 2022, I went on a Rick Steves My Way tour with my parents and one of my brothers. During the trip, we explored different corners of the Alps. We started in Austria and explored palaces and fortresses before spending a day in the Dolomites. From there, we spent a day enjoying German Bavaria and Neuschwanstein Castle. We also spent a few days exploring some of the tallest mountains in Europe, like the Schilthorn and Jungfrau in Switzerland. But the highlight for me was at the end of the trip when we got to explore the Chamonix Valley. Chamonix is a picturesque alpine resort located at the base of Mount Blanc in the French Alps, and it is a mecca for many because of its access to mountains. Skiers, alpinists, and adventurers from around the world travel to this part of the world due to its easy access of the mountains. It is a lively town known for its adventurous spirit, and it was home to the first Winter Olympics in 1924. On the edge of the village, you will find the Aiguille Midi cable car, which will whisk you away from the village to an altitude of 12,605 feet within minutes. At the top, there are stunning views in every direction, and it feels like you can reach out and touch Mount Block in the distance, which is the tallest mountain in all of Europe at nearly 16,000 feet. Visitors can also get another perspective of Mount Blanc by taking the panoramic gondola. For nearly 30 minutes, it feels like you are floating. You will glide silently over the Murdoch Glacier in crevasses to Hellbrunner Point, which sits on the French-Italian border. To get up close and personal to the Murdoch Glacier, you can take a cogwheel train to see the largest glacier in France. After a short hike, visitors can go into this receding glacier. The thing that surprised me when I approached the glacier was just seeing how much it had receded just in my lifetime. Every few feet, there was a sign showing where the glacier was just a few years ago. It's crazy to think that going inside the Murdoch Glass Glacier may not be an opportunity in a couple of years due to climate change. Seeing the impacts of climate change up close and personal was a reminder that we need to do more to protect places like this. Another thing worth checking out is exploring the other side of the Chamonix Valley. This includes exploring Bravant and Flagre. From here you will get a stunning view of Mount Blanc and the Alps in the distance, which will leave you speechless. When being in a place like this, it is easy to see why the mountains have inspired people from all over the world. After a full day in the mountains, you can take a stroll through the Chamonix village and experience the eclectic culture that makes Chamonix so special. I can easily say with confidence that this was my favorite part of my trip to Europe. Spending a few days here gave me memories that will last a lifetime. This includes visiting the Aguida Midi, the Murdoch Glass Glacier, and experiencing the Chamonix Village. It took me nearly 30 years to visit Chamonix, and I already want to go back.